Well, Jesse and I are on another hike today. We're out by uh, whew, Baird's Creek. I know that doesn't look like much of a hill, but let me tell you, that's steep. Okay, over there is the river. You can see how fast that's moving. Railroad tracks are beyond that. And we decided because of all the snow down on the low trail, we're going to take the high trail and it's all uphill. Whew. We're going to get our workout today. All right, we're going to try and stay out of the mud but semi-follow the trail. There are some really old, big birch trees. Look at the size of that one. Again, I'm sure it probably doesn't show in the video how big these trees are. Some old, old birch. Don't see any chaga or anything on any of them, though. Not even horseshoe fungus on these, right, Jess? Nope. Okay, I got Jesse up here with me, and I'm showing her the polyporous mushrooms. And I've done other videos on them. There's some there, and there's some there. And uh, I was kind of going over them again with Jesse. And what did you just ask me? Oops, hang on. I, I said, I said, aren't those uh, mushrooms that can be band aids? Yep, they can be band aids because they have a mild antibacterial in them and they you can peel a cut a swatch out of them and put it over a cut they can also you can also cut I'm not gonna cut it off but you can cut a cut a chunk out of that and use the underside of the piece you cut out and strop your knife with it to sharpen your knife there's all kinds of uses for them I've done other videos on them before but there are some huge ones. Now with the lighting, I don't know how well they'll show up. But there are some massive ones up there on this tree. It would be really cool to get them, but we can't. But we'll keep looking. Jesse picked the first uh, wild edible of the year, and it's coming up all around here already. Um, right there is some. She's got one in her hand, although this is an old one, I think. This is uh, the shoots from horsetail. Now these you can braid. They're almost like a bamboo type plant. And you can braid these and make some killer cordage. These are the old ones, but the new young ones are starting to come up. And then right here, uncover that, Jess, right there. Now... Let's see if Jesse remembers from last year what those plants are. Take a good look at them. Move the stuff around them and take a good look. They grow in swampy wetlands. Uh, they get very large, the leaves get very, very large, and they grow in swampy, wet areas. Skunk cabbage? Yes! Very good, Jesse. I am surprised you knew what that was because they haven't developed yet. But they are coming up all over in here. You can see the little heads coming up and out here in this 
as I call it, the skank pond. You can see there's one right there. Oh, there's a big one over by the tree. Yeah. Let me just, you can see there's all kinds of them coming up all through this pond, marsh pond. Some pretty large ones. They're popping up everywhere in here. And I call it a wild edible simply because you can dig up the roots and you can dry them and you can eat them but that would be a very last resort wild edible and I mean like if there is nothing else out there they call these skunk cabbage for a reason they stink like skunk not right now but when they open up and they mature you can walk within a quarter of a mile of this spot and you know they're here. They reek. So, um, oops, sorry about that. That is, but it is a wild edible. It's the first one of the spring I've seen coming up. And uh, I just thought I'd share it with you. Another use for skunk cabbage is they have very long stems, very fibrous, and they make, you can uh, dry those out or even use them green they make awesome cordage and um, I've seen people use the cordage from that for bow drills because it's so strong. Jesse's gonna try out the LT Wright GNS. I just showed it to her and she wants to try it. Okay hit the end of the knife. There you go. And Jesse's not pretty new now push down with your hand there you go she's new at learning to baton wood there you go keep going so I thought this would be a good knife to help her learn push your hand down there you go push your hand down with it good job keep going don't hit the ground there you go because you don't want to drive the knife into the ground. That's the only thing. Now turn turn the log a little more. There you go. Do it that way. More in the middle. There you go. Don't be afraid to hit it. I know. And push your hand down with it. Keep it straight. Hit it like it's an ex-boyfriend. <laughs> That's good. Now what you do is just turn your wrist. Turn your wrist. See how it splits it? Yeah. Good job. Okay, pull it out. Good job. Oh. I haven't done this in a while. That's all right. Oh. Slow and easy. There you go, and I are making some feathers. Now why don't you whittle that off and make me a tent stake with it. A tent stake? Yep. Put the stick downward. There I know you go. I was just seeing where I was going.
Takes pretty good bites out of there, doesn't it? Yeah. You can probably break that off. So you can save the other half to make another one. There you go. Alright, Miss Jessica's done with her, let me zoom in here, with her tent stake. She's got a hole in the top to put the line through, which she put in, we went with that, I guess, instead of the notch, but that's alright because then we don't have to worry about it. And then she put the tip at the point. I think she did a pretty good job. Let's see the other side. Nice job, Jess. Thank you. <laughs> What'd you use there? Let's see the knife. Your knife? The LT Wright GNS Go No Show. Mm. What do you think? What's your final review on this knife? Your professional I love opinion. It. You love it? I'm so glad you like it. Yeah, this is one of the places Jesse and I normally hang out, and uh, our trail is completely underwater. And it is flying. You would not want to fall in here right now. Look at that white water. Holy man. This is the end of our hike for the day. Sun's down, it's getting dark. Slate hillsides, raging river. And sharing it with Jesse. We had a great time. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye bye.